Welcome to Dan's Biking Adventures. Today we are at the Trail Hub with Mini Adventures uh, on a skills day. Welcome. I'm sure Hansen has been to the Trail Hub before. Yeah. <laughs> First time though, right? Dan's been here all day. So like... <laughs> I'm going by session, so yeah, technically, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, awesome, well, welcome. If you haven't been to Trail Hub, uh, it's an awesome new facility. Uh, it's actually owned by my family and my parents. So, doing great things, exciting things ahead. Stay tuned. Uh, a little bit of transition with the restaurant, hence why it's not open this weekend. And then some chaos happening on the trails. If you have questions about riding the Durham Forest, Stephanie is your person to ask. Um, I have no idea what's going on. Um, cool. Quick to our hands again. Who has done a skills jam before? Right so for those that haven't done a skills jam, are not actually going to the Olympic, you might have seen we've got a bunch of new ramps, obstacles, things like that set up, kind of sprawled all around. The idea is we've kind of gone through the registration forms as fast as we can and kind of recreated um, some scenarios, some obstacles, things that we're working on a little bit on. And we have this space in our practice of a little bit so it's a very relaxed session in case you haven't realized that already. Basically, we'll uh, we'll walk you through, we'll give you a demo, um, kind of show you what we can accomplish it. We'll kind of set you free, and then Lewis and myself will be around to coach you guys to get the demo for you, give you feedback, and stuff for some of your decisions. mobility between either your bike or your body over the bike. Um, working on things like pumping is a great place there. Then you can step it up a little bit. For those that are uh, working on anything at heights or skinnier, we've got a little bridge set up. And then following that is a teeter-totter. So the teeter-totter, the trick is when you get up to the top, you actually want to give a push into the handlebar. Think about pushing the teeter-totter down. You jump set up. Um, the gray will be touching, so you can roll over it. I always suggest that if you're going to drop something, or as long as the drop is rollable, you want to roll it first, get familiar with what you're signing up for. But great little intro, great little warm up to jumping. Now we have the tabletop set up. So same thing, roll through a few times, please. The other thing I'm just going to highlight there is you don't need as a lot of speed for it, okay? So if you're going to do the big jump, just try to start from somewhere kind of like where I'm standing. If you start further back, you're going to come into it pretty fast, and it will send you <laughs> Okay, I guess that's super quickly. <laughs> um, following that, we've got two sort of drop boxes set up. So if you're working on rolling down edges and ledges, great for that. Also great to work on your dropping technique and getting some air to fly to the other side. Cool. Any questions there? No? Um, last thing we have set up at the bottom there is if you're actually riding up over the box and then the ramp on the other side. So it's a great progression from the wheel lift station to really work on lifting your front and your rear wheel simultaneously up over those edges and ledges. Okay? Go slow at it. Slow. So, um, last thing I'm just going to highlight here is we have a corner set up around this little kind of drainage ditch. Um, challenging it gets, so challenge yourself today. Um, really great for just help challenging yourself, A, for skinny in general out on the trail, but also just slow speed balance and control. Our, one of our mottos is slow is smooth, smooth is fast. The better you do something slower, the speed and uh, faster comes as a result of that. Cool. Uh, following that, we've just got a couple more challenging little skinnies here, so you can kind of get creative. Again, you can go both directions, just make sure you're not gonna <laughs> run into anybody. And then last but not least, there is a little bit of a switchback station set up here. So making nice tight turns to the right and to the left. Again, we don't mind if you ride it either direction as long as it's clear from both directions. Right? Well, well done, Lewis. When you go through the orange or red, I don't know what color this is anymore, um, you're gonna go around the yellow crowns coming back again and you'll see the other obstacles. They're great to work on. Front wheel, rear wheel, level lift, bunny hop, etc. etc. Challenge yourself um, faster, slower, etc. Get creative. And then that last box that I highlighted over by the trailer is kind of like 
a big progression from there. But definitely, you might actually help you guys on the ground. <laughs> so here we're going to be uh, working on uh, some skinnies. Uh, I had to cut out the sound here due to uh, copyright uh, with music playing in the background. So this is my first attempt at the uh, little bit of skinny here. Didn't, not too, too bad. Lost it towards the end there. Um, Got to learn to keep that nose up. Here we are, and actually, at the beginning of this, you've seen a groundhog go across, and uh, that kind of distracted me. <laughs> I was more concerned about the groundhog. So that uh, that attempt didn't go extremely well. And here we are on one of my last attempts, and uh, I was fairly uh, satisfied with uh, this, making it down, uh, you know, virtually with uh, my feet left. Oh, I love those rollers. <laughs> oh, yeah. relatively simple in that that first roll down we talked about how we talked about the peak and push I think about pushing again but think about pushing the bike forward off the end of the drop okay so you're kind of accelerating the bike off the end of the drop so smaller faster you can kind of get away with this pushing the bike forward technique when we start to lose the speed and we have a small drop, we gotta buy ourselves a little bit of air time, and that's where you see people adding in those like kind of press, manual, or like body hop. But in theory, what we're doing is we're just gonna press down into the center of the bike, creating a bit of a lift before we push that bike forward. Think of it as you're buying yourself some extra height for that back wheel experience. Notice the speed. Speed. Just got, just got stuck doing that brake thing. That's it. Good from the top of it, right? 
Thank you. Okay, because you, you your technique adjusted for it, right? So yeah. you'll notice here you even get a little press. Yeah. A little push. See how that front wheel stays in the air? Yeah. Now that back wheel's got time. And then we come down together. Nice. Like the textbook. Textbook. I would just uh, like to thank Mini Adventures and Charlotte uh, for uh, all the little bit of coaching and the skills jam. Uh, it was an awesome time. Anyone looking to improve their mountain bike skills? Get hold of Mini Adventures. The crew there, they're awesome. Uh, they work with you. They're great people all around. Thank you for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe uh, to uh, see more videos like this. Thanks so much.